to News Geelong on this Friday evening. The impact of acquired brain disorders in our community unfortunately continues to grow and the care that clients need to be cared for in a good quality of life approach often falls to family and close friends. The Brain Links organisation carries out a wonderful and appropriate job within the community in this tender field, as Merrill Friend reports. Brain Injury Awareness Week is on from the 12th to the 18th of August. In Market Square there's a display of information in Centre Court and we were able to catch up with Jackie Pearce from ARC. It's a really important week in terms of raising awareness around acquired brain injury. We now have up to one in 12 Australians living with a brain injury and we know that two thirds of those brain injuries are acquired under the age of 24. So people are living with lifelong consequences from a brain injury, often at a very young age. And so of course that means that their loved ones become the carers and that's a 24-7 demanding job. Absolutely and today's all about caring for those carers. They do an amazing job as you said 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and so we always make sure we have a caring for the carers day built into the week so that they actually get some pampering for a change. Um, I've got a 30 year old son Paul, he's beautiful, he lives at home with us. Um, Paul's got a really significant brain injury so he can't do anything for himself so he requires full support and, and we're lucky we can do that at home but it, it takes an enormous team to look after Paul at home. He's got very very high needs so um, but with everybody's help we've managed so far, we're 12 and a half years down the track. <laughs> well you are an amazing mum, an amazing carer, what sort of support are you able to access? Um, we, we've got, um, we're lucky now, it, it's been a long haul for us, um, it took us eight years to get an individual support package through the Department of Human Services. Um, people would have heard a lot about compensable versus non-compensable, well we're very much in the non-compensable um, realm so um, it took us a long time to, to get together the supports that we need to look after Paul and it, it's still an ongoing process. <laughs> so what sorts of uh, daily things are, are supported for you? We've um, got carers that come in every day to help support us at home. Um, now we're really lucky and Paul's, because of Paul's really high needs, he, um, most of Paul's things are, are two person carers so that, that even if, um, with the hours that you do get, if you um, divide that by two, it's not really that much. Um, his personal care, his, his exercise, there's a lot of his stuff that requires two carers. Um, we've, we've also now got five active nights a week where we can go back to bed and get some sleep so they come in to support Paul overnight. Paul's also got sleep apnea due to his brain injury, so it's a really high level of care. <laughs> From the South Bowen Civic Centre, Meryl Friend, News Geelong. Thank you, Meryl. And to BrainLinks, keep up the great work. Who has served with nine City of Geelong mayors, 45 councillors, and organised and hosted citizenship ceremonies for over 5,000 new Australian citizens? Mr Stephen Noodle one of the men behind the scenes of the City of Greater Geelong for the past 35 years. He recently retired, as Merrill Friend reports. Stephen Udall has been a servant of Geelong and working for the City of Greater Geelong Council for 30 years. His role is was now the Executive Assistant to the councillors. He worked here with over nine different mayors, 45 different councillors. He's now retired and we were able to catch up with him. But recently retired only a few weeks ago from the City of Greater Geelong and uh, when I first started with the uh, former City of Geelong I was uh, titled Senior Administration Officer. Uh, that then became uh, uh, Acting Town Clerk or Assistant Town Clerk and then uh, with my when with the City of Greater Geelong I've held the position of uh, uh, the Executive Assistant to the Councillors. Wow, many, many years and many, many changes, I'd imagine. Um, yeah, you know, almost 30 years uh, in local government in Geelong and uh, been, it's lovely to be a part and uh, of see those changes as well and uh, working with uh, the system of the, uh, the smaller councils. Uh, I used to work with the former city of Geelong from 1984 up until the amalgamation time of 1993. 1993, we had our commissioners were appointed by the Victorian state government. There were four commissioners initially. Um, and then, uh, Merrill, they had the first elections for the uh, uh, for the council which was in 1995 incredible times now one of your wonderful roles was doing the um, citizenship ceremonies how many do you think 
It's, um, so with the City of Greater Geelong, yes, I have been uh, uh, administering, I can't say the word now, administering <laughs> the uh, uh, citizenship ceremonies. Um, how many? Uh, I think I did a little bit of a count. Over the last 10 years, I think there's been 5,000 new citizens have been conferred with citizenship by the Mayor of the day. And um, <clears throat> one of my roles was to, I'm having trouble here, of pronouncing all the names of, uh, of people. Here I can't even say administration now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you in retirement, aren't you? Oh, let's not uh, get that far now. I've still got a bit, there's a lot of life in Stephen Udall yet, that's for sure then, Meryl. From City Hall, Meryl Friend, News Geelong. Thank you, Meryl, and congratulations to Stephen for his wonderful service to the community of the City of Greater Geelong. And now it's weather time. Tomorrow, Saturday, will be partly cloudy with isolated showers and north northwesterly winds with an expected top of 15. Starting off a new week of August on Sunday, it will be cloudy with patchy rain, the continued north-northwest winds and a top of 15. Monday will also be cloudy with isolated showers, strong northwest tending westerly winds during the morning and a top of 13. Tuesday will be partly cloudy with isolated showers, westerly winds and a top of 12. While Wednesday will be cloudy with isolated showers, still realising the west to northwest winds and a top of 14. And Thursday it will continue with the cloudy condition and isolated showers, but the winds from the northwest will be light with a top of 16. Today we saw a mostly sunny day with isolated showers expected this evening. Winds from the north that started out light and developed up to 50 kilometres an hour during the afternoon. We reached a top temperature of 17 at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And that's the weather outlook for Geelong and the Surf Coast over the next six days. As we head to a break and return with Alex Tikitagani for tonight's sports report. Back shortly. <laughs> 